Here you can see the full Douglas bag set up, the mouthpiece attached to a two-way non-rebreathing valve and then tubing attached to the Douglas bag. This picture shows that the valve for the Douglas bag is closed and by opening it we allow air to flow into the bag of the expired air sample to be collected. And we normally do this for a minimum of one minute, a maximum of around five minutes. So we can see that the two-way valve is allowing air to flow in from the left into the person's lungs and when they breathe out it goes to the right and it gets steamed up because the air is humidified with water vapour. Once you've finished your sample, shut the valve and then your bag is ready for analysis. So now using the gas analyzer, connect the tubing to the inside connectors on the Douglas bag rack. And then open the coloured valves which correspond to the colour of your bag as shown by the dot above the valve for the Douglas bag. Make sure the pump for the analyzer is on and then after about two minutes the oxygen and the carbon dioxide values should have changed. And once they've stabilised you should record these values. After you've finished, close the coloured valves. So now we'll analyse the total volume of air in the bag and we'll attach the Douglas bag tubing to the valve and then to the gas vacuum. Ensure that the vacuum is reset, open the valve and then turn on the vacuum. The gas vacuum will now start evacuating all of the air out of your Douglas bag, as shown here. Make a note of the outside temperature that reflects the temperature of the air inside the bag. Once the bag has been emptied, turn the machine off. The second thing to do is to close the valve on the Douglas bag. Make a note of the total volume of air that has been evacuated.